What's up, it's MVDB. I'm here at Biz Idea, which is all about you know an event for startups. And I'm standing here with Maxim from Zero Copy, and um, I just wanted to get his idea on how we started his business. He he told an amazing, inspiring story, which I believe that if you hear it, you're going to be inspired as well. So first and foremost, Maxim, really cool that you're here. Yeah. Um, thank you so much for the keynote, which was very inspiring. All right. What is your advice for people who have an idea but they don't really dare to, to go and do it? Like, you, you talked a lot about mindset. So they have an idea, but they don't, they're not really. They don't know if they want to do it. Yeah. That's a difficult question, but there's the answers they will find in one book, and that's Running Lean. Okay, cool. So that's not an uh, that's not an attitude thing, but it's really a book. Uh, the book explains everything on, on how you go from idea step by step building a startup, and uh, a startup is all about finding a business model that works. It's not about running a company; it's finding a business model that works. And once you have found it, then you can become a company and generate money and profits and everything in the, in the long term. Uh, but really, running lean Ash Moria, that's the first step. If you have an idea, uh, you will see that you don't need a huge amount of time or budget or whatever. You don't need to invest uh, tens and thousands of euros. With a couple of hundred bucks, you can really uh, test your idea in the market. Um, so don't write a business plan. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was interesting. You said uh, yeah, don't, yeah. don't write an, a business plan, but no. instead? No, uh, just instead uh, fill in a business model canvas. Uh, where you sketch, where you think about uh, your key customer, your key value proposition, all those kind of things, um, and then go go out of the building, go test these ideas in practice, really. Mm. Um, yeah. But what if they like fail? Uh, if you fail, then you have to iterate, and you have to uh, um, adapt your ideas um, because actually you can't really fail because the first step in these uh, in these testing the market is like interview. Uh, you, you interview uh, the worldview of your potential customer, and from those interviews, you will see if your basic idea uh, is something or not. So you can't fail; you can only learn. Yeah. No excuses. No, no excuses. You just yeah. go there and, and then get it. Yeah. Because I love it how he started his story, um, where he went to study in the university, and first he studied history, and then in the summer months, which is normally vacation for here, you studied. Yeah, economics. Applied economics, yeah. right? So, you have no excuses. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I thought that if I wanted to study economics uh, after my uh, this, uh, my history degree, it would take me in total seven years to complete the two. Then I thought, like, if I study over the summer a bit already, then I can uh, reduce it from seven years to uh, to six years. But then in the end, I end up with five years and everything was done. So uh, <laughs> that's also something I realized that um, you, you can have wild dreams yeah. and if you just do it uh, you may end up that your wild dreams actually that the reality becomes even, even better, better than what you anticipated yeah. I would never dream that I could succeed in, uh, in, in doing that but just by doing and always yeah every day again and again and again you do it mm. what, what are the, the plans for the coming year coming two years well, the big uh, thing right now we're doing, um, we have, uh, in business terms, we, we reached product market fit, so our metrics are right, our retention is good, our conversion is good, our customer acquisition cost is low, uh, we have a growth engine, uh, everything is there. Uh, we never raised funds, uh, but that's now the first time we, will, we are looking for investors. Um, with that money, we want to secure uh, the Belgian and the, and the, the Dutch market. So we will go international. Um, based on what we learned there, we will raise money again and scale uh, in Europe, and then of course the rest of the world. But then it's not in the coming two years; it's in the coming years. Yeah, yeah. So I have no exit plan scenario yet. It's just uh, <laughs> uh, everybody in the whole world should be able to print for free. Mm. Can they find you on social media, or do you have like something? Yeah, that's... zero copy. Uh, zero copy. Uh, com. Zero copy. Uh, well, not that's that's an asshole in the United States who still oh, okay. that, uh, who still has that uh, domain name. But uh, zero copy. Uh, zero copy. Yeah. Uh, awesome. So check him out there.
uh, if you want to get your prints for free. For free. And uh, I want to thank yeah. you so much for taking the time. You're welcome. All right, cool. So um, see you. Much love, peace, and VDB. Thank you.